Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna do another DIY video. These DIYs are just fun to do when you're bored. Some are good as home decor or as gifts, but all in all, they're just really fun aesthetic DIYs. It's getting harder and harder to find good DIYs, but I did find a lot of good ones this time. So let's get started. So this is the first one. There's this new popular aesthetic mermaid core or something like that. And this definitely fits the theme. I think it's popular because of the little mermaid that came out, but I do like it. I have to say, and it's very summery and summer's coming. So I am a fan. So easy to make. You don't need a lot of stuff and it looks really good. This next one is also rather simple, but just really, really fun and cute. And if you read, then this one's perfect for you. You can make a bunch of different ones and maybe even that fit your book. If you have a bit of a darker book, a thriller or horror, then you can make a little bit of a darker bookmark. But if you have a light and fluffy book, then you can make something cute and sweet. This next one is really if you have nothing to do. You can try these really, really, really pretty drawings. Like, oh my God, they're so pretty. I wish I could draw like this, but like maybe if you actually would put more time into drawing, you will get like this, of course, because it's a skill. You have to learn it. But if you're really bored, just go try these out. Learn how to draw if you can't draw yet. <laughs> this next one, I've had a similar one like this, I think, but I just really liked it. And I don't think that all of you watch every single one of my DIY videos. So I thought I'd just include it and it looks really good. She does it really well. It's a good idea, especially if you like to take Polaroids and stuff. You could also just do it with a normal photograph or picture or whatever. I'm sorry, I really like clay DIYs. I just really like that because you can do so much with it. But this person makes coasters and that is so smart. I like coasters and they're also very handy, of course. But like this way you can make your own. Plus they'll be more special because you made them, but you can also just make what you want to make and you can make them the size that you want. You can make different sizes. You can make different prints and stuff. This one is actually a gift DIY, but I just like it in general and I think it's fun to make. Plus it's also kind of fun as just room decor or something But you can also give it to someone that you care about So she just makes like a little box thing with flowers in it and it just looks really fun and adorable So <laughs> it's a bit smaller, but you can make it bigger or just small like this, whatever you like You can make it with different colors, different flowers, whatever This one is also fun if you don't like real living flowers and plants because they die quickly This one is fun for you, so they make kind of fake flowers, but I think it looks really good And you can make different fake flowers, including these And then you can just like make a fake flower bouquet, put them in a pretty vase And that is really good as home decor Add it to like a gift or something or whatever you want to do with it I thought it was a really good idea. This next one also really fits the new mermaid core aesthetic. It's really fun. I really love the idea of making your own candles and like this is not really making your own candles because she just has a lot of these big shelves and she melts other candles but still you're still like making candles and I think it's really fun. This is just perfect for summer. It just looks really good. This next one is if you're into drawing and or painting and of course also if you like to make things with clay. I do. Maybe you don't then this one's not for you. <laughs> but they're making a brush and pencil holder, which is perfect. If you draw and paint a lot, then you can just grab it really quickly. This is such a smart idea. This next one's also really fun if you like to make your own jewelry. I do, but I do it a little bit differently than you see here. But I just thought it was actually really pretty. And I really like this DIY, so I did want to include it. It's just really pretty. You can do it with gold or silver or whatever color you like. You can make the flower different colors and you can make them for people. You can make them for your own, you can sell them, whatever you like. <laughs> this one is kind of a bit of a compilation of embroidery ideas, things you can make. If you haven't tried embroidery yet, it's fun, you should try it. I did it in a video, it didn't turn out really great, but still, this is just something that you should try because it's just really fun. You can get all of this stuff for cheap, just go out and get it and give it a try. Here you have a few ideas to do. <laughs> this next one's kind of random, but I thought it was just so fun and adorable. They're making keychains, but they're like these IDs or something, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure this is Animal Crossing. I just liked it so much. It's really fun. You can go a lot of ways with this and you can make them for yourself or for your friends. And I really like it. This one is a little bit harder, but still really fun to do. And if you are bored easily, if you want something to do, if you have vacation or whatever, then this is a really good one for you. She basically makes a mushroom jar. You can do it with something other than mushrooms. You can do it with flowers or butterflies or whatever you like. Just the idea in general is really fun. 
and good. I like it. You do have to kind of be good in painting, but you don't really have to be because she makes it like really fun and detailed and um, she paints a lot, but you could also just keep it simple and don't paint too much. And if you're not very good at painting, you can always make an outline of a butterfly or a mushroom or whatever you like. Just tape it onto the jar and paint that in so you still have like a good shape. Does that make sense? But it's really fun, so just give it a try. Oh, this next one is so fun. Again, making your own candles seems like so much fun to me. I've never actually done it, but I really should try it. For this one, she makes a candle, but... On the side, she has like this little match holder and I just love that so much. I think that is the most adorable thing. They should sell them like these, but I've never seen it like this. I really should make this. Ooh, should I make it in a video? I love this one so much. I really want, I really want to make this. And another clay video. What a surprise. With this one, I was so amazed in the beginning that she uses like these two wooden things to like make it even. That is so smart because my struggle with making clay stuff is that I can never get it even. But that is just so incredibly smart. I really should try that. Anyway, she's making a plant pot and I love this idea so much because I love plants. Sometimes the plant pots are like are expensive or they're just not the right size. But this is a really fun idea. You just make them yourself. You can go many different ways with this, which I always love the most about DIY. This next one's a bit more simple and if you don't have a lot of things at home or not a lot of money to buy stuff stuff with to make DIYs then this one's fun for you she just uses glue and she paints them and she uses that as decor which is so incredibly simple but it's a really good idea and if you have a low budget or anything then this is really fun this next one's also kind of like a, just a small DIY but I thought it was really fun for summer so they make their own stickers I've had DIYs like that before but they make these flowers and put it on their cup you know it spices it up and you can make a lot of different stickers like that and make your cup all pretty for summer <laughs> this next one is also fun so they already have a mirror with a little stand they paint the mirror stand with flowers and i thought this was so smart because it really spices it up and it makes it a bit more interesting you can even like paint something on a mirror like a small text like you look amazing today or something you know that's just so fun i love it when people put stuff on mirrors i just thought this was really fun if you have a simple mirror like this you can paint it this last one's really fun to try if you don't have anything to do if you're bored or if you want to make something for someone else this is a good one they're making an old love letter it turns out really really great and it's fun to do and fun to try and you can even like make it now use it as rune decor and maybe in the future you can make it for someone else i just really like the idea so i thought i'd include it those were all the diys i had for you every video that i showed you in this video will be linked down below so you can check it out as well if you liked it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to become a part of the family and i hope i will see you in my next video